Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so freaking excited because I'm playing with the new Heather Austin collaboration with Unearthly Cosmetics. Ah, I literally just got this in PR and let me tell you guys, I am so excited to play with this. You guys want to see what this collection is all about, what type of look I create, my thoughts and all the details about this. Well, then definitely keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm so excited because I have never played with Unearthly Cosmetics. I played with Alien Cosmetics and I know they changed their name to Unearthly Cosmetics. I don't know if the formula is still the same. This is my first time actually playing with Unearthly Cosmetics and I'm just so beyond excited because this is my beautiful friend Heather Austin's collab with Unearthly Cosmetics. And if you guys don't know who Heather Austin is, well, <laughs> I don't know what y'all doing because she is so incredible. She's so amazing. And I had the absolute pleasure of meeting her in person. And let me tell you, you guys think that she's magical on the internet? Wait, do you guys see her in person? She is truly beautiful. She's one of the sweetest, most uplifting people I have ever ever met she automatically makes me feel so comfortable and that I can just be myself around her and she is such a positive light here in the beauty community I absolutely love her so I'm so excited for her that she is creating her second collaboration ever and it's with unearthly cosmetics so this is a little PR box right here and this is called the resurgence collection first off let's talk about the PR package I have never encountered anything with like beetles on it me personally i'm not a fan of bugs so when i first saw this i was like oh you know i was like oh oh because <laughs> i've never really you know deal with beetles but i understood why that she picked it because you guys go in her videos you guys see all like the nature elements behind her she has like a lot of butterflies and stuff like that but like literally i it just makes sense because this screams her and when you open it up well first off on the back it says resurgence heather austin collaboration with unearthly and then you open it up and you are going to get this beautiful box right here that says resurgent it does come with a little protective sleeve and then there's going to be an eyeshadow palette a highlighter palette and a lip gloss so let's go ahead and dive straight on in first we do have this palette called resurgence right here and again that's what this whole theming is you have the beautiful bugs in here i know that i believe she um, I believe she said that this is all about like the bugs and like all the different mythologies like is like a good omen represents different things represents life and this is what she wanted to represent so this is going to be the palette you open it up and you're going to have 12 beautiful shades in here you're going to have a mix of mattes and shimmers with a little bit of like dual multi-chrome moments in this palette I definitely took the opportunity to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see it up close but I have to say this is a really gorgeous palette I love the theming in here you get a mix of light colors and a mix of dark colors and for me personally I know it's May, but like when I see this, a part of me gets inspired to like do some Halloween-esque looks. Like I see it in Halloween. It's my favorite holiday of all the time of all time. And I see it, I'm like, ooh, I could do like really fun Halloween inspired looks, but I could also do really fun, beautiful color looks. Now I've had this pleasure of seeing this palette worn in person. When I met Heather when we went to Disney together, she was actually wearing this palette, and I believe she was wearing like these shades right here because the way they glided, the way they looked on her eye was just unbelievably beautiful i mean like so freaking beautiful i guarantee she's gonna come out with you i guarantee she's gonna bring you guys so many different looks with this palette but like i see this and i'm already inspired to play especially with, like this black shade right here i love a good matte glitter in it there's something about it that just like oh uh, just gets me so freaking excited so here is the resurgence palette next she's also launching a highlighter duo i know it's a highlighter palette but highlighter duo so there's gonna be two shades in here we have the shade renewal and the shade rebirth and i will say that the shade renewal it i feel like the camera can never you know capture the true quality of it this is like a multi-chrome highlighter it shifts from like a green to like a beautiful rose gold red like it has so many different colors in this it's truly incredibly beautiful they're gonna have like a white highlighter but again it's not just white i see purple i see green i see so many different reflex in this it's just gonna definitely gonna be a beautiful like multi-chrome highlighter i think it's gonna fit so many different skin tones out there from very light to very deep i think it's just very universal i really do love the shades that she picked and i'm so excited to play with these just because i don't really have highlighters like this in my collection and then lastly she's launching a lip gloss and this is this shade's called omen and it's gonna be this beautiful like white 
holographic shift gloss right here and it's going to have these beautiful beetles on it and it's going to be like a nice like sheer gloss where it definitely is going to have some sparkle reflex to it i gotta like swatch it for you guys on my lips like let me show you i know just swatch up close but let's see oh wow okay so i feel like it's so hard to tell on camera but like in person that is very soft that is very soft in person i can see so many sparkles in it i can see like i can see gold pink purple blue oh my gosh the sparkles on this is really pretty i feel like this particular gloss is going to complement so many different lip glosses lipstick liquid lips lip liners lipsticks whatever you guys want i feel like this can be a very very complimentary gloss you could put on by itself or on top of any liquid lip of your choice and make it just really really beautiful so i am beyond excited now she just announced this i haven't had a chance to watch her video yet i am pre-filming this but this collection is going to be available on may 25th at 11 a.m central time codes will not be allowed to use on this collection but you guys can use code heather on anything else on unearthly cosmetics website it's just not going to be applicable for this collection this collection is limited edition there may be a restock but it's not certain at this time the full collection retail for 86 dollars, but the palette will be available for 45 dollars individually and i am just so beyond excited for her you have no idea no idea i know this collection is vegan and cruelty free and i'll have all the information about this collection linked down below for you guys you guys should check it out so with that said guys I am dying to zoom you guys in and play with this because oh, I'm just so excited for her. Okay, so to start off, we're going to go into the shade Beetle right here. It's like this beautiful black with like just re like glitter reflex in it. It's so freaking pretty. We're going to take this and we're going to put this in our transition shade today. It's so funny because when I think of Beetles, because she she's a shade in here named Scarab, right? And where is my little thing? Okay, she's a thing in here named Scarab. And let me tell you, the first time I ever saw a Scarab, I was like, oh my gosh, these are beautiful little beetles, right? Absolutely beautiful, stunning beetles. And then I watched the movie, The Mummy. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I was a little kid. I was a little kid. So I saw the movie, The Mummy. And there was that scene where Brendan Fraser is like, I don't know, I want to say like a handler, but like I guess in this day and age, it'd be like his parole officer was um, just having fun walking around like the little like tomb. Spoiler alert, if y'all haven't seen this movie, that came out in the 90s, so we're going to spoil it for you anyway. But he's walking around the tomb and then he comes across like this wall of like beautiful bejeweled scarab skeletons or just like these beautiful bejeweled scarabs and they're just in the in the wall and he starts to just grab them and put them in his bag and he is just like this is it i'm making a lot of money he was so excited for what he had discovered <laughs> and then out of nowhere that scarab like popped out of its shell and like literally like dug into his skin went into his brain and essentially just like killed him right and it traumatized me as a kid i mean i absolutely was petrified i was like oh dear god i'm gonna go to egypt i'm gonna come across these bejeweled scarabs and then i'm gonna have them eat my brain and <laughs> i was so scared of that particular scene like it literally scared the shit out of me as a kid um the things that traumatize you right who would have thought so i spent my whole life whole life convinced I spent my whole life convinced that this is a real thing like these scarabs are 100% real they're 100% flesh eaters and they're gonna eat you if you ever come across them you know what I need to I'm gonna start to freak myself out again I need to I need to double check because Corey told me that that's not true and now I don't know scarab beetles eating brains <gasps> They're flesh eating beetles? Oh my god. The time, the whole time you would the whole time. Oh my god, that's real. It's real? They really are they're flesh eating beetles? <laughs> Called dermis dermis did? Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, scarabs are small, carnivorous insects that eat the flesh of every creature they, they could catch, particularly humans. Shut no way! 
Yo, what I just, I'm, flesh eating videos, flesh eating beetles contribute to the cleanliness and the health of the planet by decomposing bodies. Flesh eating beetles are the ultimate scavengers, but also eat grain, plants, animal fibers, natural fibers, feathers, and dead insects. Flesh eating beetles were made famous in the movie, The Mummy, where the scared beetles eat humans alive. Fortunately, the flesh eating beetles are known as dermistids, only feast on dead people. Oh, oof, mm, that this made my stomach drop. The nightmares are going to continue. So <laughs> fun fact of the day, the more you know. I thought that was just movie myth at this point because Corey convinced me that that wasn't real. And <laughs> am I going to send him this article while he's at work? I'm like, bitch, you better watch this because this is a, uh, this is real. They eat your dead body. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense that that is something that would happen, but like, that is also scary that that's something that would happen because for me, now I'm going to have nightmares about that. I'm going to have nightmares about that now. I guarantee I'm going to dream about the mummy tonight. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I saw that name and that's what I thought of. But there's actually this one area. If you go to Animal Kingdom, um, fun fact, I have worked there for 11 years, by the way. I'm being very open about it now. And I actually did apply to go back to my job, just so you all know. And if I get the job, I will tell you guys where it's at. But it's inside Animal Kingdom. It's one of the two main restaurants there. So you guys can take a gander which one it is. Um, so anyway, I, um, there's an area, there's an area over in Asia where you can do the, the trek and they have a segment for like fruit bats. You guys get to see bats and stuff like that and see how they live in nature. Well, if you go inside there, there's also like a naked mole rat, a naked roll, a naked mole rat section, which by the way, I took Heather to. There's a guy sitting next to me and the, the worker was telling us about naked mole rats and how they actually work as a community and how they really do take up, take care of their elderly. And I was like, this is incredible. Like how amazing is this? So I turned to Corey and I say, Corey, can you believe this? They, they really do care about their elderly. They take care of the elderly. Like that's like who they really focus on. Like that is so sweet. And I was like, I can't believe this. And I grab his arm to be like, look, come to find out it was just some stranger sitting next to me. I have no idea who this guy was. And I was so embarrassed because like Heather's looking at me and looking at her and I was like, my guys, you're not Corey. And I was just so embarrassed. So embarrassed. And we both had a good laugh at it. I don't know how well that guy laughed at it, but I had a good laugh because I was absolutely mortified. By the way, this shade is laying down so beautifully, by the way. I'm absolutely loving how this is laying down. A very nice smoky look. And you guys know I never go for blacks because I find blacks so intimidating. A little can go a long way. And if you put too much, you can mess it up and it's just really bad. But this is blending out really, really nicely. So... Um, I was super embarrassed, so we walked over to the little bug section, and they have like a little drawer. I'm gonna actually go into the shade called Regeneration because I really just think that this would be such a beautiful shade to go next to. But since this is a pale green, don't look at the nails. I don't know how much pigment this is gonna show because I know like this particular shade, if you start to blend it out, it's gonna blend itself away, and that's kind of like what it's for as well. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit of a color base, just a little bit, just so I can add a little bit more extra pigment. So. Anyway, we go over to this little drawer and in this drawer you open up, they have all these dead insects that are for display. So you can kind of see like how bugs looked and evolved over the years. And there's a beetle section. I don't know if Heather really saw that because I think we we're so into our conversation. I'm not sure how much she saw, but I would love to take her back to that particular section just so I can show her once again, all the beetles and the bugs. Also, if you go over to, I think it's the Brevard Zoo, they also have a segment for beetles and bugs and you guys can see like the evolution of them and how big they can absolutely get. And I'm just grateful that nowhere has displayed the freaking centipede because I'm gonna tell you all right now, I am absolutely uncontrollably, I mean like literally uncontrollably scared of, um, centipedes there's something about them one they make me gag immediately i want to throw up all right so we're going to go to the shade called regeneration right here this beautiful like neon green one they immediately make me want to throw up i immediately just want to throw up when i see them they scare the living crap out of me and then two yes that's exactly why i like that down so that could be exactly the color that i want um two i know that there's some that's like in the desert that are like really freaking poisonous apparently and there's this guy called bear bear grills or I don't know. He's this Cody, no Cody, Cody something. And he just literally goes around and he gets stung by all the most like dangerous and most painful bugs out there because he's just that guy. God, that is beautiful. So anyway, 
Um, I'm very glad they didn't display the centipede because I am absolutely mortified with centipedes. They scare the living crap out of me. I'm like, I'm not kidding. I cry, I gag. And I'm just very grateful these places don't show the centipedes. So I'm so happy that Heather and Unearthly decided just to do beetles and not do <laughs> centipedes because if it were centipedes on this, I might be like, Heather, I love you, but I don't know how well I can play with this palette because I'm going to be wanting to cry the whole time. You couldn't pay me. No money in the world can get me to touch a centipede. Maybe a billion dollars straight up cash, no tax. Maybe. I'd probably be crying like there's no tomorrow. And maybe now with scarabs because now I know that there's flesh eating scarabs. <sighs> That's something I'm going to be thinking about all day now. And you know what? I'm very glad I got to share that moment with you guys. Talk about how gorgeous this green is. I really do think kind of laying down that base just really helps to accentuate the green. Now, I'm sure I didn't have to, but I really wanted this bright neon green to pop. And the only reason why I did is because I know how shades like this tend to work out. I played with so much, you know, neon and pastel shades. I really just wanted to give this shadow a moment and have it really stand out because I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so to complement that, I wanna go into the shade called Solar Symbol right here. This is a beautiful, like beautiful topper. Like, I mean, just look at that gold reflex to it, right? Beautiful green gold reflex. Absolutely love how this looks. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this right here. I just feel like it'll complement that green very nicely. Now I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. Okay, and then for like the very, very, very inner corner, we're gonna go into the shade called Life because I just feel like this Life shade I don't know, there's something about it that I just feel like it's gonna complement this beautifully. It's like that white black balance. I feel like it'll be really, really kind of like a nice little touch just to kind of stamp it just like right there. Okay, so this is kind of where we are right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I was almost gonna do two eye looks, but there's something about this that I just really feel like smoking this out and making like a really pretty smoky eye look. So we're gonna come back. I think I'm gonna use a different like, blue. I think I'm gonna use like a deeper blue to smoke this out and kind of blend it out just so I can keep using the different shades. But we're gonna work on this, but so far I think this is really, really pretty. And I just, I'm kind of liking how this is looking. Very little different because I don't really reduce stuff like this with color wise. So I'm excited guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, so the face is on. We're gonna go back and finish the eyes. So I said I wanna switch it up just a little bit. So instead of going in with black, we're gonna take the shade called Cosmology right here. And we're actually gonna line our lower lash line with this. And I'm just so excited because I feel like this will look really, really, really pretty. Now I am in the middle of filming this and Heather just posted her video. So I was able to watch her video and kind of go over explanation of the shades and the names and everything like that, which, oh my gosh, like she is so freaking beautiful in her reveal video. It's not even funny. Like I'm literally just staring at her going, oh my gosh, she's perfection. So I liked how she explained that the first six shades, the, the, I like how she explained how the way that it's laid out. So like the first six shades can be used as an eyeshadow look and like the second six shades can be used as an eyeshadow look. So she explained it where, to break in half, so you guys can use the, those, first, those first six shades to create a look or you guys can use those six shades to create a look. And I love how she kind of explained that because it makes so much sense to me. Like it made so much sense. I love the layout of it. I love the theming of it. So. She did such a good job with explaining that. And she's going to bring you guys so many um, reviews and tutorials. So definitely head over to her channel to see how she does her makeup looks and her explanation because it is just so fun to watch. So that is really pretty. I think I'm going to go into the shade called Ceramis, Cerebus right here. This beautiful like pale purple lavender shade, more cool tone. And we're going to use that to blend out that blue just a little bit. That way I'm using more than just the same colors I used from above. Kind of add this to it. So before I finish off my eyes with like the inner corner and the lower lash line and stuff like that, we're gonna go in with the highlighter today. So I'm gonna take the shade called Rebirth, this beautiful like duochrome shade right here. And we're gonna use this as our highlighter. I think I might actually use this as my inner corner highlight too. So let me go ahead and lay this down. Ooh. It's a very like subtle glow. Okay, I wonder if I add the other shade, Renewal. Kind of mix that in. Ooh, that makes like a pinky shift. That's pretty. Okay, so that is really, really pretty. So to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On um, Gel Liner in the shade Perversion. This is the only black liner that I use. It is absolutely amazing. It is so 
freaking pigmented, I swear, it will like stay on your lid. I mean, it will stay in your eye even if you cry, because trust me, I have cried so many times with this liner on and it doesn't budge. You know, it holds on very, very well. I absolutely love this black liner. This is the only black liner that I use. Even though I have like ColourPop black liners, there's just something about this particular black liner that I am just like, it's perfection. It should just be called perfection, not perversion. Just be just called perfection because that's what this is. Okay, so to finish off the look, we're gonna go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Bourbon Lip Liner. You guys should not be surprised by this at all. I almost went in, well, almost went in with a black lip but I just feel like a beautiful neutral lip will complement this eye look beautifully. All right, then we're gonna go in with the Alme Go Wild Lipstick. You guys know the drill. Okay, and then for the lip gloss, we're gonna go in with the Omen Lip Gloss from Heather Austin and Unearthly. I'm so excited to put this on top. I feel like it's gonna really complement this. And it does. And this is the final look. Alrighty guys, and this is the final look. So what do we think? Y'all, I love it! Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I love the eye look that I created. I know that I said it was like kind of inspired by like Halloween, but I don't, I don't also see Halloween when I look at this. I mean, I do, but I don't at the same time. I think just because if I do black and green, I'm always gonna think Halloween. But like at the same time, it's not Halloween because I added the blue and the purple and it's just, Oh, it is so beautiful. So let's talk about the palette. So first off, we have the Resurgence palette right here. Like I said, you guys can buy this individually for $45 or you guys can buy the whole collection for $86. You have, you have 12 beautiful shades right here. You're gonna have a mix of mattes. You're gonna have a mix of shimmers. And some of these shimmers are kind of more like dual chrome. Although she did say this white shade right here is like a satin shade, which I could definitely see being like that. It's a beautiful palette. Heather did such a wonderful job of picking out these gorgeous colors. You kind of have a mix of dark colors and light colors. And yes, it is a very, very colorful palette, but so is Heather. She loves colors as much as I do. And I just think she did such an incredible job. All these shades really do complement each other. You can create so many beautiful looks with this. And I'm thoroughly impressed. This is my first time playing with Unearthly Cosmetics. Like I said, I played with Alien Cosmetics, but I never played with Unearthly, same brand, but different name. And I'm thoroughly impressed with the formula. The mattes were so pigmented. They're very easy to blend and then the shimmers like i absolutely loved how the shimmers look i think they're beautiful i think they blend very easily on top of their mattes and i was really really impressed it kind of has me intrigued to see what else this brand has to offer i think heather did a beautiful job with this and honestly i kind of like the beatles I kind of like the Beatles. Okay, so up next, we do have the little highlighter duo right here. And I really do love the fact that she created it kind of like a deeper highlighter and a highlighter to, and a lighter highlighter to go. definitely complement various skin tones out there. And while I will say it's really beautiful, these are colors I typically wouldn't wear every single day. Like for me, they're a little bit deeper on my skin, maybe just because how I mixed it, or I'm just not used to it. I like a very bright, bold, gleaming highlight that's almost like white champagne-ish. And this definitely did challenge me because it is more of like a rose gold golden highlight which i'm not used to but i will say it's really beautiful i really do love the formula on this i love that it's not too overpowering in your face but i also love that it kind of gives you that glow from within where it's there but it's not so pow but it's enough to be like, ooh, she's glowing. I really do like that about this. So these are definitely really beautiful colors. I may not use them as often as I would other highlighters just because of the shade range, but I will say I really do love the formula. I think the colors she did pick are beautiful. I love the way that kind of just matches my blush. And I think it kind of just complements this look. I think it definitely challenged me and I think it's really, really fun. I think Heather did a really good job of picking this out. Last but not least, we do have this lip gloss. Oh my gosh. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's very soft. It's not sticky. It doesn't really have a smell or taste to it. It feels extremely hydrating and extremely comfortable and lift. It has a beautiful high shine, but I really also love it is that it's so hard to tell on camera, but I love the glitter reflect to this. It has so much sparkle. You can literally see all the different sparkles in this. I think it's going to complement any sort of look that you wear. I think it's going to complement any sort of, you know, lipstick or liquid lip or lip liner that you wear. I think you can pair it with like a black lip. You can pair it with a red lip. You can pair with a you know beautiful neutral pink purple whatever your heart desires you can pair this lip with you can pair this gloss with it and it's going to be absolutely beautiful and you could also wear it on your own i think they did such a phenomenal job at this so this collection is going to be live on may 25th at 11 a.m central time which will actually be 12 p.m eastern standard time there are no codes applied to this particular collection but if you guys use code heather on unearthly's cosmetics website you can use it for everything else but her collection it does 
retail for $86. It is a very limited edition. So when it's gone, it's gone. They are talking about a restock, but it just kind of depends upon demand. So Heather, oh my God, you freaking killed it. I love it so much. Thank you so much for sending this to me. You are such a beautiful person inside and out. And it has been such an honor to get to know you. And I'm just man, I'm so freaking proud of you. So I'll have everything about this collection linked it down below for you guys to go check it out. Please go watch Heather's video. She did such a beautiful job at demonstrating. She did such a beautiful job at explaining her palette, the colors, everything. Go follow her, go check her out. You, she posts such amazing content. She posts like two or three times a day at times, like go watch her. You guys will not be disappointed and unearthly. Thank you once again for sending this to me. I thoroughly do appreciate it. So yeah guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed it please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channels are for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes these beautiful wonderful pay to members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribe you guys and not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys for the very next video bye hey guys what <laughs> and i know they definitely did like rebrand their cosmetics i absolutely with like a shimmer i love a good matte with so i haven't had a chance to watch her collection but she did like but so I haven't had a chance to watch her video yet. Codes will not be allowed to be applied to this collection, but you guys can use cut. But you guys can use code Heather to you. But you guys can use code Heather to, because a little bit can go the a little can go the wrong way. Because a little bit, because a little can go the.